I would like to talk a little about a rare disease that I work in, hereditary angioedema, which has gone through an evolution, or I could even say revolution over the last 10 years from having no drugs to now having seven. But the problem is identifying those patients, correctly identifying. So not only do you have to do a good history and find out they have swelling and they have recurrent abdominal pain, maybe airway swelling, without hives, often with a family history, but not everybody has a family history, which makes it difficult, especially in hereditary disease. So if they have symptoms of recurrent swelling, no hives and abdominal pain, it's really just justified by that alone to get the blood test for hereditary angioedema. And if you just wanted to do one test that's easy to get and cheap, a complement level called C4 would be the way to screen. It's not absolute, but it's pretty good, especially when the patient is having symptoms. It's almost absolute then. And then you could also get C1 esterase inhibitor function and protein, and those tests are all available in any clinical lab, but they have to be handled correctly, and that can be a problem. So again, recurrent swelling, no hives, having maybe a respiratory uh, symptoms occasionally, recurrent abdominal pain, with or without a family history, you should be thinking about hereditary angioedema and at least getting a C4, if not a whole panel for HAE.